secret chord is not the David you think you know. It's not the familiar Sunday school sanitized version of events. And I think using the original Hebrew names, Shaul, uh, Shemuel, Yoav, Avner, gives it a more authentic feel and, and it transports you a little bit more back into that second Iron Age Israel, which is the setting of the story. You can't dive deep into archives and read a ton of material from the period itself because we really only have the scriptures. Sure. I think outside of the Bible, David is referenced in one stone carving and that's about it. And I decided that the best way to get to know him perhaps would be to go to the places that he was and to try and, to a large extent, do the things he might have done. Not the adultery and the murder. <laughs> but or the cutting off of heads or anything None like of that. that. <laughs> but I was fascinated that so many leaders in the Bible start off as shepherds. And I thought, well, what can you learn about herding sheep? What insights might David have got as a young man doing that work? boy really and so we did that and then we stayed in goat head tents and ate uh, foods of the period cooked over charcoal fires and then we spent an afternoon riding camels and found out later that we got sore backsides for nothing because oh, really? there were no camels in second iron age israel oh, whoops. <laughs> so i had to transfer that they rode mules actually so i had to find a mule to learn how that was different to riding a horse What compelled you to retell his story? Two very cryptic references in the book of Chronicles. Natan is the prophet who is with David at crucial moments in his story. But the idea that there's this missing book of Natan, and Chronicles says the acts of David are set down in it from first to last, and yet we don't have it. I thought, what would a man like that, who was so blunt and so fearless in confronting the king about his weaknesses, how would that account be different? What would he have seen and what would he be willing to say? And so the secret chord is my imagining of this missing book of Natan. It has just been a pleasure to have you here today. Thank well, you thank so you much. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching A Word on Words. I'm JT Ellison. Keep reading. find the book of Nathan in a, a cave somewhere. Hey, who knows? Maybe you've written it, and a thousand years from now, we're going to find it in a cave and be able to be like, hey, you're in it.